Yeah, it's it's a sad day for sure, but it's also a beautiful day. As we get to uh, we get to celebrate for probably the most influential person that we've ever had at Manchester United, um, and celebrate his life. Um, so I mean, he. I don't know if any, ever anyone has ever played a bigger part for a football club than he has. You only have to think what he's been through. Um, Coming into the club as a young young man, he was he was on that plane in Munich. Um, he barely survived. Played probably the most important part as a player in rebuilding the football club and the football team and people's belief in the football club. And then, of course, all you know, winning the World Cup and you know, being voted the best player in the world that year and winning the championship with United, winning winning the European Cup with United after that. And then all of his work as a director, um, you know, finding probably, yeah, he found Sir Alex and supporting him throughout the very, very difficult uh, beginning, kept believing in him. Uh, and then, of course, I, I experienced him coming into the dressing room, being around the Old Trafford, the, uh, I was going to say Carrington, but that's not the truth because I was never at Carrington, but at Cliff Training Ground. And, uh, Always very, very supportive. Always believing that, that we could do whatever we set out to do. And when you look at a person like that, very, very inspirational. Well, everybody loved Bobby. Uh, just a hero. Yeah, he was. Just Fantastic player and just a, a gentleman to the core, yes. And then there was Busby Babes, of course, which Bobby was part of. And, and uh, yeah, my, my dad, well, my family were just like totally United fans. My grandchildren still are now. I saw him play once. It was a 2-1 win away at Chelsea. Well, I think it can be summed up by one of the um, one of the signs in uh, in the ground. Born in um, in Ash Ashington, but made in Manchester.